Hey everyone, how are you? It's me, Daddy May, and it has been a hot minute since I've done a video. It's actually been kind of a while, it seems. So, let's see, how are things going? It is going okay. Could be better. Could be better. I'm trying to adjust my camera, sorry. Anyway, um... That's the light, obviously. <laughs> I got a halo. So, what's new, Pussycat? I did a weigh-in a couple days ago, and I also did one last week. And I meant to do a video last week, but I never got around to it. So, last week, I weighed 280.4, which was up 4 pounds from the time before. And when was that? How long was that? Doesn't matter, four pounds sucks. Um, so January 11th is when I weighed 276.4. February 1st, I weighed 280.4, that was up four pounds. And then on the 9th, which was a couple days ago, I was 279.4. So I lost a pound of the four that I had gained. Um, but it sucks because I need to do better because last year at this time I was in the 240s so I've gained like what 30 pounds in a year that is awful awful but also I was thinking about this last year at this time I had just gotten out of the hospital pretty recently before that so I believe I lost quite a bit of weight while I was hospitalized so that's probably how I got down to the 240s because in the hospital I didn't really eat and because I didn't like the food and I was I remember being sick part of the time and having to be quarantined and that was back in November of 2019. Jeez, that's weird that it's been over a year now already. Time is flying. So obviously after I got out of the hospital I started eating again and drinking pop. I didn't have pop in the hospital either. So yeah, bad habits. They're an addiction, I swear. I am addicted to pop. Like some people get addicted to beer or drugs or alcohol of other types. My addiction is pop. And it doesn't have to be caffeinated pop. It's the fizziness that I like. And maybe I should start drinking sparkling flavored water or something maybe that would be better I don't know <clears throat> anyway so this week is kind of a difficult week actually it is very difficult week today I had to go to court for my defaulted car loan um, with the cost or I can't remember the exact amount owed. It was over 5,000, probably over 5,500. But with the court costs and everything, now it's like just over 6,000. And yesterday I talked to the credit union and initially they were like, we will take $30 a week and I was excited about that because I'm like I think I can actually handle that well then I get a call back from the credit union and she says my manager we can't take anything less than a full payment and a full payment is like 296 it's nearly 300 so that would jump it up to about 75 a week or a little less and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think I can handle that. But what was I going to do? I mean, I have to pay this. I know it's my responsibility. So I had agreed to it yesterday. Well, at court today, 
um, the judge asked me what I could afford and he just kind of blurted out a number. He said 200 a month. Well, that's better than 300 a month and 75 a week. So I said, I should be able to do that. I don't know. I mean, seriously, I work part time. I'm lucky if I get 24 hours in a week and I don't make a huge hourly amount. So I did write out my expenses. They didn't take them, but I am looking at a total of about 1200 a month with my various bills. Now I know that's not going to seem like a lot to most of you because you probably pay that in a house payment. I know I've been there before, but for me now, it's an awful lot and I'm like, I'm going to have to get a second job or something to make the extra money that I'm going to need to be able to afford all of my bills, you know. Um, I can be grateful for the fact that I'm not in a an apartment paying, having to pay 800 a month or something, thank God, because there's no way I could do it. And at this point, I mean, I just rent a room, but I have access to laundry, kitchen, that kind of thing. So, um, and it's 450 a month. So that's a lot better than 800 a month. But at this rate, I feel like I'm never going to get anywhere. I'm never going to be able to afford my own place again. I know I shouldn't think so negatively, but when I look at the numbers, it just feels that way, you know? So it's depressing. And then to add to my depression, Saturday the 13th is the anniversary of my mom's death. I can't even believe it. I mean, it's been, how many years has it been? A long time. I just, Wow, it's 2021 already. 15 years, 2006. Lord have mercy. I cannot believe it's been 15 years. And I miss her like crazy. There are times when I wish I could pick up the phone and call my mom. There are times I wish I could actually hear her and know what she would say to my questions and things like that. I mean, I know I can talk to her, but I wish I could hear her response. <sighs> anyway, and then also it's Valentine's Day weekend and it just... I'm struggling seeing all the lovey-dovey and the Valentine challenges on Facebook. How long have you known each other? Where did you meet? Blah, blah, blah. Who initiated the first kiss? Who said I love you first? And blah, blah, blah. I know it's awful. I think it's awful. It wouldn't be awful if I had someone, but since I'm single and alone, it's just not my favorite holiday anymore at all so between my car and lack of funds and my mom's death anniversary and Valentine's Day it's a rough <laughs> it's just rough and the other night I was driving home and I broke out crying and I hadn't cried in a long time but I lost it and I was crying for a bit and I'm just like stop crying while you're driving and um just I don't know sometimes you just get to feeling depressed and overwhelmed and I don't know. I 
saw this person's video on TikTok. Yes, I'm a TikToker as well as a YouTuber. And um, he was a divorced man and he was given some advice and one of them was you need to forgive them. It's not for them, it's for you. And he's not the first one that's that I've heard that from. So many people have said you need to forgive. You're never going to move on if you don't forgive. You're killing yourself because you're not forgiving. Well, I struggle with that so hard when it comes to forgiving my ex. <laughs> I feel like I've been put through the ringer because of him. And my heart shattered and and it's just like how do I forgive how do I forgive that how do I stop the hatred how do I stop the thoughts of wishing ill will upon him that's awful of me I'm not a Christian if I'm doing this stuff right I mean, a, a true Christian would not wish ill will on people. And I am struggling with that. So, I don't know. I have therapy coming up this coming Tuesday. And it's long overdue. It's been, gosh, it feels like it's been about a month now. And that's just too long. But my therapist went on vacation. And another time I had to cancel because I had to work. And hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hi, ya, as Uncle Roger would say. Ugh. Anyway. So if you got any kind words of wisdom, or maybe you've been through divorce. And I'm sorry if you have. It's not a fun thing. Especially when, you know, you don't get any spousal support at all. I never got one dime of spousal support. But I had to share my pension. I had to split it in half with them. I didn't I don't have my pension yet I'm not getting it yet but when it's due to me when I'm in my 60s or whatever I have to split it with him and he'll have been long time married to this new woman why should I have to share my pension I don't care if we were married 26 years he wanted out he don't deserve it anymore that's my opinion Seriously, that's my opinion. Just like if he had a pension, it'd be like if I chose to leave the marriage, then I choose to give that stuff up. It doesn't belong to me anymore because I made that choice. Well, he made that choice. He wanted out. So in my opinion, he shouldn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. I think it's bullshit. I swear. Sorry for my language, but I do. So I've been ranting and raving on for 14 minutes now. So thank you for listening and hanging out with me. And I will possibly do another video this weekend if I get too lonely and bored. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um, thanks again, guys. I wish you peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.